There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. My baby goes that night and stays till the morning comes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blind Pig Confessions. Really? You're going with that one? Because <laughs> you hate when I do yeah, it. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, so, how you doing? So we're up in Anderson tonight, and we are at Kettle Top Brew House. Yeah, yeah. This is my first time in here. I love it. It's got a very, uh, what do I want to say to it? It's got a very warm feel to it. It's very, lots of wood furniture and leather seats, and it's At- awesome. Atmosphere is real. The atmosphere is awesome. Yeah. And very, very Jordan much. Jordan likes anything with leather. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, you're not supposed to tell secrets. It's not secret. He does. He just lets <laughs> is, the world. Has anybody ever listened to this show? <laughs> <laughs> just no secrets around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just lets the world know everything going on. It's all good. So uh, we're up here, and we have uh, Kyle Buck on the show tonight as a guest. Yes. Thank you for having me. Happy to be back. And then we have one of the brewer slash owners of the place, correct? That's correct. Yes. Thank you. And you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. So I'm, I'm Daniel Hiles. Uh, my wife and I, uh, Callie, uh, her and I own Kettle Top Brew House. Uh, which we have uh, future plans shortly in about April to open up Creatures of Habit Brewing Company. Sweet. And we are partnered with uh, my brother David Hiles, as well as a good friend of ours and partner, uh, Daniel Stahupiak. Nice. So is is it part of Branchwater then? No. So that, that was something, kind of a project that started when we first came to Kettle Top um, that, that phased out. So uh, that, that is no longer. Okay. Ah, okay. Switching up. See, I was right. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I thought it was... Okay, yeah, but I when I search, when I researched it on the internet, it still said everything's true on the internet. Didn't you know that? I know. <laughs> you got to believe everything you see. So no, that's awesome. That's cool. So you said the brewery portion will open around about April. About April, yep. and it's attached to here, right? No, so um, it's actually about a block up uh, the road. At okay, ten thirty one Meridian Street. Um, so it's one of those things where I have gone through with creating the business and talking about both businesses. It's hard to. Um, kind of differentiate so long story short kettle top brew house started first we then added on the the kitchen here uh which is uh creatures kitchen and right. it's part of the the brewery so the food will be made here in the interim and of course will be uh ordered uh delivered uh f- to the to the brewery just one block down the road so okay so that'll that'll have a, a, a tap room or something over correct. there as well yes. okay yep. yes so you're gonna, gonna, go ahead you'll have both of them going then. correct oh, yes. okay awesome okay yep. okay cool I was a little confused but there. Since, I was like, no, so since me. it's over there, though, that means like the Sunday fun, you can't actually take alcohol out of here on Sunday, can you? Since this isn't, so there's going to be able to do like growler fills from here. N- no, uh, which, which, which is kind of the, what we wanted to create was to keep everything okay. uh, in house for for the brewery there. Of course, we would sell things to Kettle Top. Obviously, we're kind of our yeah. number one customer. <laughs> uh, but but to your point, no, it, it would just be growler sales uh, over there. Features. Okay, yes. yeah. So That's why I figured, yeah, because there's the, the fun little, yeah. even even if the brewery is associated, if it's in a physical different building, I think, you know, it. Right. It, it, but it's only lo- a block the away. fun laws. Well, yeah. It's only so a block make them walk a block. It's all good. It's you all burn good. off enough calories to get yourself another beer. I mean, exactly. that's just how that goes. There you go. That's right. And I guess I should have said, uh, Pat's here. Papa Smurf's here. Jordan's yeah, here. Up. We got Griswold, our security guard on. King John. We haven't seen him in a while. He's he just hanging out with us tonight. And then Tex-Mex finally showed up here. What is the fuck up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> I mean, what is up? <laughs> What's with the fuck the up? I couldn't find the place. What? I've been driving around for about half an hour. <laughs> oh. Well, I finally said it's it's like a little bit hidden and it's facing the park. Yeah. And then he showed up. So I had some. That's what he needed. That little I last had boost. Some, uh, vodka in the truck. So I've been outside for a while. I know where it was at. <laughs> I, <bet laughs> I wanted to finish my vodka. I figured you guys wouldn't appreciate me bringing my own bottle. He's warm now. <laughs> and I'm guessing it was mogul too. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the real Tex Mex though. He's he's sporting the the mustache and beard. He looks like Mirror Universe, <laughs> like Star Trek Mirrorverse. It's my, uh, um, my Tex Mex. Uh, <laughs> my hibernation Tex Mex, you know. It looks like the evil version of. Uh, like when they did the evil Superman and yeah. they gave him a mustache and a beard and that suddenly made him evil. I love it. It's, um, it's Bizarro Tex Mex. How's that? There you go. Bizarro like Tex Mex. Like it. I mean, in DC, but whatever. <laughs> I, I like the Star Trek references better, but, you know, whatever. It's uh, okay. It's okay. I'm not wearing a red <laughs> shirt, so we're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can good. get you one of those. So let's uh, – we have a beer in front of us. I'll share mine with Tex-Mex. Where are we going first? Yeah, are we uh, – so um, this is Creatures of uh, Creatures of Habit beer. Well, yes, yeah, so the one that you're uh, brewing already. There. Yes, okay. that's correct. Yeah, this is our, um, our Smash IPA, which, of course, just stands for your single uh, hop, single malt. 
Okay. Um, so this is something we, we brewed uh, here about a month and a half back, uh, and we, we, we presented it for a, a pitch night here we had uh, sponsored by uh, a lot of entrepreneurs in the city. Yeah. And so I don't know if you heard anything about that or not, but it was a, a success. And long story short, uh, it was a chance for people to kind of pitch their idea, uh, and anybody um, you know was open to that forum. Uh, and the person, of course, who won uh, would take the amount of money that was raised and kind of put towards their their business, their idea. Okay. And so it was. Uh, it was it a really, really ended cool up event. being about like almost eight grand, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. For a startup yep. here in the city, it was pretty That's cool. That's huge. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. So I got the chance to taste it, and it's really good. It's got a very uh, sweet, smooth um, kind of taste to it, palate to it. Um, it's not overpowering in hops for sure. It's but the hop flavors there. But I'm not getting you know the, it's not the in bitter the, tongue. It's not in the nose. Citra. It's it's kind of. So for Where's this one, go? we actually did uh, finish with the citra. The first one we did was with the uh, amarillo. Okay. And so, uh, it, to your point, you were making Jordan is we really wanted to make the uh, the smash IP kind of uh, pleasant for a lot yep. of introductory uh, drinkers into the IPA world because a lot of times when you say the word IPA, people who love them of course flock to it. The ones who don't know hate it. Yeah. You know, it's it's piney, it's it's too bitter, and yep. so. Yeah, can um, I get a beer without hops in it? There you go. No, <laughs> actually, they all no. That would I be have whiskey. Water. <laughs> so, and we've talked about this on the show even before. Bud, even 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 the big macros. Yes, there's there's hops in there. There are. Yeah. You can't taste them, but hey. There, uh, we talked about this before, but I think this all stems from probably about four years ago, like when we started the show. When you ordered an IPA, you knew you were going to get suck. punched in the face with hops. <laughs> Correct. It's what they all were back then. And I think people, as the craft brewery industry has refined itself, they've realized, like you guys have, you can make a really good IPA without having to punch somebody in the face with hops. So I think a lot of IPAs are going like that. And they're still the ones that are you know really hopped up in the 60, 90 minute type um, oh, yeah. IPAs. But a lot of people are going to a nice balanced IPA. And I think it's, it makes a really good beer because, like you said, anybody can drink it without you know being like, oh, shit, my mouth, you know. Uh, I don't mind a, a decent amount of hops if if it has good flavor. I don't even mind the bitterness, but sometimes if you just hop it to hop it, it doesn't turn out great. Yeah. So what's I that agree. finish and and the back end? Is it just me or is it the vodka I was drinking earlier? It's the vodka you were drinking <laughs> earlier. No, no, it's like finishing off with something smooth, mellow. It's a hop. It's one of the hops. It's I can I, I can taste it too. It's like a we, what, what, what was the hop Simcoe. On this? So the no the Amarillo. Is what Amarillo. We there it Amarillo. is. Okay. okay. Yeah. And so, depending on, of course, if you know your hops and East Coast, West Coast, uh, you're going to get a different, different bitterness. Mm -hmm. Some have more, you know, actual flavor that go into there. Yeah. And so, uh, to, to your point, yes, that's that was the point of it, kind of being a more mellow and not uh, stingy, piney. It's, it's not so dank. No, yeah. you're right. There, there are some dank ones <laughs> out off, there. Let get me off my you. IPAs, man. <laughs> yeah. Like when I said I like IPAs, like I don't, but I can't do a 60 minute. I can tolerate, but a 90 minute Dogfish Head, I can't do it. It's like yeah. holy shit. I, I mean, I love a strong IPA, sometimes double, triple IPAs I can reach for, but I also know a lot of people, like you said, that hear the word IPA, or, or, or the acronym, I guess, to be. <laughs> but anyway, when people hear IPA, they imagine a ton of hops, but I would have no problem recommending this to someone who was weary on IPAs. Yeah. If they were like, oh, I don't know about IPAs, give this one a shot, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, John, you're not an IPA guy. What did you think? I thought it was fantastic. I liked the finish. Just you know, it was. Was it, it was, too hot for you? No, it was. It was just right. You know, okay. as I'm growing in my appreciation for IPAs, you know, it's g good flavor. It's got a good finish, and it didn't punch me in the face. Okay, cool. Give me a minute. Cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want he said the face, not the we back of the that. head. <laughs> Calm down. There's a difference. <laughs> Griswold, what did you think? Because you're not you're not huge IPA, but you've you've come to appreciate them a lot more lately. So, I, yeah, it's got a. The flavor is all around to me. It's smooth. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah. yeah. Like Absolutely. Saying, I'm not a real big fan of IPAs. I'll drink them, but I've noticed that I'm drinking them more. Right. <laughs> well, I think we all are more than we used to. <laughs> now, Roberto is the is of the group here. He is definitely the known IPA guy. So As I'm enjoying a nice fat heads from Ohio. Nice. You so you, as an IPA fan, though, because you like the super hopped, you still were able to enjoy this IPA, right? I dig it, yeah, because it's a different, totally, it's not overly hoppy, um, which I'm not condoning or, you know, appreciating any way or the other. Um, I kind of dig it. It's really smooth. It's probably something more 
of a all day or summertime there I'm grilling for a thousand people type Absolutely. of drink, I would totally go with that. Absolutely. Is this, totally this plan on one of your your house staples? Is yes. This, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're, yeah, you're building your house staples first. Yep. You got, uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, you guys got a good one with that. Good. One, yes. yeah. <laughs> Thank awesome. You. I'll just yeah, we you see a few of them. They just start out with weird shit. It's like no <laughs> man, get, you gotta if you really open up. Yeah, get your staples in that everybody's gonna like and then play around a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you're not gonna keep them coming back. Right. Exactly. Cool. All right. So Kyle. Yes. So what are you doing up here, man? There's something exciting going on up here with you, right? Yeah, we're we're yes. um, having a lot of fun. I came into kettle top for the first time in uh um, right after they opened as soon as i heard that there was a brew house here downtown i jumped on the opportunity to come down here and check it out and i just absolutely fell in love with the place and um you know it was maybe my second or third time in and and um dan and and tessa uh our fabulous bartender out here um you know they recognized me and they, and they remembered my name and i thought that was just the coolest thing ever you know it, all the time it's a very business cliche the cheers atmosphere but that's, yeah. that's really yeah. how it was you know um and i thought that was a very special quality and um over the next couple of months you know uh while i was with the stampede string band dan was um nice enough to let us come in and play and we had some really great shows here and i just fell in love with the venue i fell in love with the staff um in a very platonic way um <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> after but, a few uh, drinks so uh, yeah 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 you you get me six turkey 101s we'll see what happens um no. waitress no <laughs> you don't want that <laughs> <laughs> but uh but anyway that was why you um, remembered his name <laughs> Yeah, they call me Buck Nasty for a reason. I still don't know what yeah, that reason yeah. is. Um, usually because I'm blacked out when that happens. You don't but remember? <laughs> <laughs> but, blacked, blacked, um, out, blacked out Buck Nasty. <laughs> but yeah, um, a couple of months ago, I, I left the Stampede um, in October of last year. Um, and, you know, I still had the itch to be involved with music and, you know, just putting on entertainment. I'm a strong believer in, in growth through expression. And, um, you know, I, I got with Dan and, and he and I had some conversations about how, you know, the business was really picking up and he wasn't able to devote the time that he wanted to um, towards, you know, booking and promotion and that sort of thing. I was like, look, man, I'm not with the band anymore. I've got some extra time. Let me know what I can do to help, and he's kind of let me take uh, take some control as as far as y you know, um, bringing in some new talent, some fresh faces, as well as developing um, some some new things that we're hosting here. Is uh, um, start uh, last May, he let me start a comedy open mic out here um, that we've seen tremendous growth out of, and and we actually started doing our first stand up comedy um, showcase last month, and we had to turn folks away. We were standing room in here. Sweet. It was it was incredible to see the interest and the turnout in that respect. And, and, you know, um, people around here want to laugh, and I want to help them do that. So, um, you know, he's just been able to let me come in and, and, and see what I can do. And uh, I think we've seen some pretty decent results so far. So hopefully that continues. Awesome. All right, tell me a joke, funny man. No, just kidding. So <laughs> I, I, I got one. one. I, I got one. I hate put. I hate put. I don't. I never put someone on the spot. I like actually that. heard an amazing uh, one. Tell me a joke. <laughs> You're a comedian. Tell me a joke. Tell me something funny. But he just said he wants to, so yeah, we're gonna, I, we'll I, let hey, him do I've it. Got right. one. I read this one today, and I don't know who wrote it, so I'm not going to take credit for it. But it's it's incredible. Make sure it's PG-13. We're, we're oh yeah, no, there, there's there's not a single fucking <laughs> curse word in here. So. <laughs> um, no, uh, so I really love my new uh, refrigerator magnet. I am currently up to 12 refrigerators, so <laughs> that's pretty fun. I didn't say it was good. I just Damn. said I enjoyed it. That was Tricky 101, right? There you go. Hopefully they get better as they go. Yeah, along. I definitely am not the headliner, just so you guys know. <laughs> I I, 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 I'll host a show, and I'll throw some dick jokes out so there. So you're the fluffer. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, <laughs> the headliner was great. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, went there. Yeah. Wow. The comedy flipper. Can we yeah. get on that 101, please? Yes. <laughs> Damn it, son. I kind of want to come out on comedy night and just feed him until sure. we until we get to see the buck hey, nasty right, I'm and live. I'm gonna I'm gonna play uh, dumb here. Not you know nothing new. But what's playing. turkey what 101? Wild turkey. Oh, okay. No, yep. I don't. Yeah, I don't yep. know that. 101 proof wild turkey. That shit will put some hair. You on know your what I just read? You can get them. <laughs> Bacardi 151. Just they quit selling Bacardi 151 now. Yeah, that was probably that my too. fault. That was an old one. <laughs> <laughs> where did, where yeah. did you? Why do you care? When's the last well, time that you was, had that was 151? Man, that was. Oh, that was my drink in Arizona, man. When, when I was, was DJing out there. That was 12 years ago. It's a drink. It's drink that. All night long, 151 last, and Cokes. The last time I Great. had Bacardi 151 and Cokes, I ended up kicking limousines outside of Indiana Grand Casino because I didn't believe anyone was in them. 
And uh, so after that point, I was like, man, okay, you, I've you, never you, done that. You need to pump the brakes. It was, was just, it was say, just my odd segues that <laughs> I do. I was gonna say, dude, the last time you drank Bacardi 151, your nuts weren't hanging out of your boxer shorts yet. Well, after the first one, they were. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I used to drink that, but uh, it was. I was. Just, I was curious about the wild turkey. I've never had. I, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever had a wild turkey ever. I mean, for for a hundred proof whiskey, yeah. it's, it it is very enjoyable. I I, I really like it. Ooh, cool. I, I know. I, I know my dad I had it growing my, up. My teeth on wild turkey. Did you? back when like uh, sixth or seventh grade? Yeah, that that's old, that's when old, I started. That and old granddad. My dad, oh, really? my dad always had those two bottles oh, okay. in the house, but I never, I never tried them. He always had the old granddad yeah. and the and the and the and the wild turkey. Old granddad got its name because that's what you feel like the next day. <laughs> oh my God, yes. That's. <laughs> I stayed all night at my buddy's house. His parents <laughs> went, went went to a party or something. We found the liquor cabinet, and well, they come home and the bottle was empty. Yeah, <laughs> you're supposed to, you're supposed to fill it back up with water. You're not supposed to empty oh, the whole no. way. We, was it we your dad's were, or was it? Were you underage? No, it wasn't my family's oh, okay. house. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, then, yeah. Well, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> he knew better to do that in his house. <laughs> Not at my house. Wow. Bloodshot uh, hurts. <laughs> so what else do we have in front of us? Let's take another. Uh, let's take another drink. Time so, for another beer. It's up to you guys if you want. You've got the uh, sour monkey on your left, uh, depending on where you're. Let's what, go ahead so was the so the um, the the the. the, the Smash IPA, is that the only one you have available right now? Y- yes, so currently from oh, ours, okay. yes. Uh, right. So we have a, um, a customer appreciation event, which is mm-hmm. kind of early to announce this, but it's okay, uh, next Friday. And so I uh, created an event today. Long story short, we're just going to give a chance for people who have been patrons of Kettle Top, uh, kind of give back to them. We're going nice. to have Creatures of Habit beer uh, on display and on, um, on tap on the stage. So gotcha. anybody who uh, attends that will be able to try all, all um, oh, sweet. five of our current uh, brews. Oh, so. that's, oh, that'll be awesome. Nice. When's that? Uh, that is next Friday. The, uh, the show will probably come out yeah. after that. Darn it. Yeah, it well, we'll, we'll, we'll have someone. We'll have. We'll Doesn't have mean call. we can't promote it on yeah, Facebook forum. Yeah, that's we true. Go. We can hit that. So, yeah, Kyle, make sure you know, guys get yeah, us that absolutely. info. Yeah, I'll get that sent over to you guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll tag Much a couple things in that. So I just wanted to bring that up and check because some of the beers we're going to try. You guys you guys keep a, a decent list. I, I started out with a narwhal tonight. Excellent. You know, I started with a magpie. He, yeah, he did with our, our friends over at New Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I need to get down and get some of that more. I, I have not had any since we went there. I haven't been able to get a bottle. Dude, they I have it on tap here. It's I'm going to go down there and get a couple bottles for the yeah. wife for her birthday. Well, they got a couple special releases, too, that they keep doing. You know, uh, I think they got another one coming out because they keep flavoring it with some different stuff. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. But I just wonder, you, you've got a decent how many ta- what do you uh, how many beers do you have on tap regularly? So we have 12, uh, 12 craft beers on tap at okay. all, all times. Uh, we we kind of keep a couple on there uh, just because uh, it's it's one of those things um, with, with your Blue Moon. I, I like Blue Moon. I That's appreciate fine. what they've done. Yeah. But it's it's if if every single uh, you know kind of your your restaurants around in this area still have it on tap, I want to make sure that person still gets to have. It's still the comfortable same coming in com- here. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And so. There's no problem in me educating or, or trying to you know get that conversation started on something else, but but that definitely uh, champagne velvet is, is another one. It's a great oh, uh, yeah, that's a great one. Oh yeah. And so a lot of times that's kind of your, your your gateway for a lot of people that are like, man, you know, I really like. I'm used to my Coors Lights, my my domestics. You know, where do I go? And obviously, I don't start with a stout or something. No. An IPA to punch them in the face, but uh, but so that's kind of that that's uh, you know sure. gateway beer pilsner into into that realm, and all of a sudden they, they start to get you know. Outside of the box, and that's yeah. really what the the, the goal here uh, has always been. So, champagne velvet, I gotta admit, it's one of my favorite craft uh, pilsners. It's yeah. good, it's a so, very solid beer. So I picked this one because you guys won't like it, but who knows? I knew, I knew it was your choice. <laughs> now, what is this called? This is called Sour Monkey. Sour yeah. Monkey. From so Vic- it's Victory. a Brett. It's a Brett Sour. Correct. From Victory. Okay, so up in Ohio then. Uh, this I believe it's, it's Pennsylvania. 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 Okay. Oh. Close enough. Well, <laughs> at least it was the right direction, going. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yes, you did east. go east. You were heading right. <laughs> you just said like Idaho or something. We'd have looked at you weird. Yeah. <laughs> we still will. <laughs> Actually, that one that one's not bad. It's not too sour. Um, surprisingly, for a Brett, usually the Brett comes out too funky. You know, but it, that also happens when they try to Brett the wrong beer, mm. and they just throw Brett into something trying to make a, a funk out of it. Mm-hmm. So and Jordan's gonna be like, mm-hmm, can we move on? <laughs> oh, it's fine. Again, I don't, I don't They're mind not sour guys. I am. I don't mind sours. He says that every show, and I, I'm told him I, there's a lot of sours I do like. Well, yeah, but you're not traditional. I, I I tend to lean towards the sours and the gozas. You guys, this is mild compared like to some of the stuff them. that we've had. Yeah, it's very mild. That's what, I'm That's what I'm saying. The funk is not there from a normal some of the breads we've normally had. I don't know who bread is, but he needs to keep his funk away from me. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Hi-oh. Hey. Hey. Uh, 
That's hilarious because I put Brett the funk up <laughs> on my fucking notes here. <laughs> so well played, sir. Yep. Yeah, it's not. It's I not would bad. infuse a brisket with this beer. Really? Well, there you go. Yeah. I would infuse a brisket. I would have thought you'd go more inside. chicken. More chicken on this. No, no, I because think it's too sour vi- for for a uh, for a red meat. Nah. You're uh, you're a lot of times like you know southern. Not I should say southern. I should say like Carolina barbecue with mm-hmm. your vinegar. Very similar to that type of. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, because I would rub it with more of a chili. Easy now. I type. bet you would rub no. it. I'll, I'll rub the fuck out of it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways, gonna get up and down. I get Funk. those long strokes so you can get it nice and deep. Yeah, he's getting Funky that, Brett's he's getting <laughs> rubbed down over here, man. <laughs> this Brett's a lucky guy, man. He's going to mole that. Wow. <laughs> that, I was going to say, yeah, I could definitely see this being uh, good for the red meat type stuff, though, because you use a red wine vinegar, you use a... Anything similar to that's going to give it some a good flavor. Speaking of which, you got any um, for your restaurant here? Are you you use the beers in anything? Yeah, so so uh, glad you brought that up. Of course, there's some beer cheese. We also have a lot of um, beer cheese. Beer cheese. Yeah, I love beer cheese. Beer you guys, cheese. You the, the best like? beer cheese I've ever had. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you no, off. No, no, you're seriously, fine. You're it fine. is absolutely insanely wait, who, delicious. From who? You make it yourself or from someone else? So we ha- we have a chef uh, here here mm-hmm. on site uh, who has built the kitchen team, and so uh, the the beer is actually our porter we put into it, and so we oh. we chose the porter because it's a more of a. Uh, Kind of a, a meteor, I guess. Yeah. That's because we we had cheese. Yeah. But we had some good cheese. Uh, it, we had some good beer cheese from the guys at New Corner up in Muncie. Okay, oh, yeah. making some good beer cheese. Those yeah. redemption. Should we get some? You know, after yeah, that show, should we send an order back? Yeah, I found your that. wedge of cheese that you had. I, it was, I think it was yours. Yeah, on in my bumper. <laughs> <laughs> so like it was stuck, you know, when you because you guys someone put it on the bumper and they closed the door and it was just wedged there enough that Great. it just stayed there. And like a week later, <laughs> I opened up the back to get the equipment out. And I'm like, was it funky a like bread? Wedge of cheese. And I'm like, why is there a wedge of cheese in my bumper? <laughs> That's where it went. We were we, we were there for a little what, bit. And you, yeah. It was it was good beer. Doing to the bumper. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I was trying to get that cheese wedged inside. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta cram it in there. It's just uh, the Spit cheese, and then what else you use the the beer? You, any other thing? So it's actually smoked gouda. Okay. So, Ooh, so there, there you again, you, you get a, a lot more flavor in that than just simply using a, a pilsner or yeah. a lager uh, with, mm-hmm. with you know sharp or anything. So okay. anything else you use the beer for in the uh, kitchen? Yeah. So we actually also uh, our batter is made from our our, our beer as well. Oh, so for a lot of the uh, beer batter, chicken tenders, oh, okay. uh, sandwich, chicken sandwiches, things like that. So Sweet. and they serve a, a horseradish sauce with their chicken tenders. Yes. Really. Yes, ooh, ooh. and it's really damn good. Horseradish peppercorn sauce, my yes. is it really damn That good. is my you must favorite. Add. Like I, I try to let you know. Tessa does a great job of when I put in my order to let them know that I'm that I, I'm putting in my order, and they know I want horseradish peppercorn sauce. Like a vat, anything. Do you do you ask for the vat? No, I, <laughs> I, I usually stick with with just the normal cup because I understand you know uh, you got to make your money on it eventually. Because if I had the vat of it, they wouldn't make any money on it. But well, I'd, I'd expect them to charge you more. But <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that when I eat uh, hot wings, and I go and order like the super hot wings, and I'd be like, and I need a vat of blue cheese, please, and they bring yeah. me out like a bowl. Yeah. And, but it cost me like five bucks. But well, I'd be like, sure. I don't care. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. I'll need to consider that. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna have to add bowl to the bottom of that menu there, Dan. <laughs> take a bowl, of, just just a bowl and a spoon. I don't even need anything to put in it. <laughs> this is like a li- uh, liter of Farva. <laughs> a liter of cola. <laughs> liter of cola. <laughs> liter of cola. Have, oh, have you seen the? Have you seen the previews for number two? Yes. Oh, oh, twenty. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Super Troopers number two. Yep. Oh, it looks oh, yeah. hilarious. Just give me the buck nasty portion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take a buck nasty uh, horseradish. <laughs> what the fuck? Did That's you gonna just be call an me? actual yeah. serving now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd like a buck nasty of wild turkey and a buck nasty of. <laughs> Of a horseradish. You just get handed two buckets. <laughs> <laughs> and a waiver. Yeah, t- two buckets Definitely and a waiver. waiver. Yeah. That's going first. And you have to trade in your keys with your tab. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who's who's the key master here? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, so yeah, we made it through this hour. Thanks guys for indulging me on that one. I hadn't actually had that one. That didn't so bother me any yeah. actually. I don't like no, I said, there's I some know. sours I do like. Um, the super crazy, like when my jaw hurts and like my eyes start to roll back in my head and my tongue curls up and hides in the back of my throat. Ooh. Not crazy about those, those are, sours. Those are usually the tart. Those are usually the tart every night. Because that, that <laughs> I'm about w- to say, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you get the tarts, when it starts to hurt right there, you know, yeah. The, and yeah, I was gonna say when it starts to hurt your jaw, that's when you know it's bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I had a dollar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we better finish so, up. <laughs> Sounds like Kyle's got work to do out on the corner of the... <laughs> Hold him up. I don't call him Buck pound, Nasty for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if this table was is only a little higher. Too? Buck <laughs> Nasty? Is that your street name? Depends on... No, it was when I was it's in college, nasty. but I've since had to require <laughs> jobs. Now it's, now it's Buck 50 <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Buck 50, same as downtown. It raises <laughs> <pr> <laughs> <inter> raises <laughs> prices yeah. just a bit. Hashtag charge by the pound. <laughs> Wow. wow. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, so this is probably a, a good point in the show to take a quick break. This is Ron Smith, and you're listening to Blind Pig Confessions. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Aquí estamos con los pinches. What the? Si. Donde yeah. está tu pantalones? No habla español. Yo tengo un gato en mis pantalones. The name of my production company is actually called Adios Pantalones. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I put out music, that's what I put it under. It's nice. fucking hilarious. Goodbye, but. pants. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So we're back, in case you didn't notice. Yep. And we, were, uh, we lost some gold, though. We'll have to see if we can try to bring it's like up some that, of our side it's conversations like that SNL around. You, you need to come in like that Ben Affleck SNL sketch. Ah, we're back. <laughs> Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms, you. <laughs> <laughs> fly, fat ass fly. <laughs> Jay and Silent Bob reference. Love it. Yeah. I just got my Jay and Silent Bob hat yesterday, though, with the bat, the bat hat. They're coming. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I got one nice. finally. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob are coming to the Mirror Oh That's shit! Right. Yeah, April. Yeah. Well, I, I actually got. I, I did. I saw the uh, um, the um, the crazy. Uh, it was a, it was several years ago. The cartoon movie, the super groovy cartoon movie, and then I actually got to see you know Jane Silent Bob up there. It was actually pretty cool. It was nice. Yeah. The 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 was sheer. That a the, yeah, I was there. Oh, were you? Yeah, yeah. I was there with my cousin, like five, and then uh, like Irish and and Tommy and a bunch of other people. Nice. Yeah, it was nice. Although the the sheer amount of questions about the rusty sheriff's badge is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's 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 just it's where it goes. The whole lineup <laughs> of questions, at least fifty percent of them were about a rusty sheriff's badge. That's hilarious. Yeah. It's, it was it was it was pretty interesting. Jordan, what are you doing? Is that chicken? Is that chicken? Is that the I, boil? I see chicken the and chicken. then and then there's some balls and cheese. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you uh, just, just we were talking just, earlier. Is this the beer cheese? It is. Yeah. So um, fantastic. The, the, the chef was uh, anxious to. Get this out here and see what you guys thought. Uh, but this is what Kyle was talking about earlier. This is the uh, beer, cheese, and pretzels, mm. and then also uh, what's going around quite. Is it the horseradish peppercorn over here? Yeah, which is the chicken with the uh, horseradish peppercorn sauce. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Did this make it all the way down? Because there's a lot of balls left. Yeah, no, we got it. We got it. It's good though. Holy crap, that's we, amazing. That cheese. Apparently, awesome. they thought you needed to handle all the balls You're, there, Pat. Yeah, apparently. No, no. It's, it's good. We, we passed it. Mm. Somebody's got to take it. I get lonely cowboy. sometimes. And that the horseradish sauce too is just phenomenal. Oh Holy shit with that radish sauce. Yeah. yeah. Damn it, son. I don't care you. if it's chicken, fish, yeah. or somebody's dick, man. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, <me>. Wow. <laughs> man, there we go. Oh, we know what Kyle and uh, Tex Mex are doing later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets that battle hey, horseradish. Can I get the one one, please? You bring the vodka, I'll bring the horseradish. <laughs> hey, Done. Kyle, what's that weird mushroom stamp in your bowl of horseradish? <laughs> my whiskey pickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. I'm going to wish I didn't say that tomorrow. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all well, yeah, good. Yeah, you'll man. wish, but it'll be too late. It's Absolutely. recorded. No, we're still going to air it, so you're fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's on the internet. It'll be there forever. That's fine. You're going to try to get a job when you're in your 60s, and they're going to go back and What's look. What's this? Did you say <laughs> whiskey pickle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but let me give you the context. <laughs> Uh -oh. I was drunk. <laughs> There's my context. <laughs> say, my kid will say, Dad, what did you mean when you said mushroom stamp? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Mm, that's nothing. Are you talking? Your, your kid probably tells you half of these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he probably <laughs> would. Dude. Yeah. So my kid's in the deli at work the other day. My boss is in the deli. And they're, apparently my son is talking to the girl who just turned 21. And he said, well, you know what? My favorite beer is Pabst Blue Ribbon. And I was like, holy shit. He just said that to my yes. boss. Wow. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I remember that kid's that. going places. He's nine. Still. <laughs> Jail. I, yeah. So yeah, is Jordan. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jail. I didn't necessarily specify where that place was. <laughs> just say he's going places. Or she. Uh, uh, it's a he. He. Kid okay. is, the kid is crazy. The kid is crazy. It's fun, yep. man. It's fun. I but hope it's isn't that beer cheese fantastic yeah. though? Yes, yeah. it's, great. Love it's incredible. It. I, I, on anything and everything, it, 
I mean, it, it's on the mac and cheese, right? The the yep. chicken mac and beer cheese. Um, it's just insane. My wife gets it every time she comes out. So here. I feel like, and this is like a heart attack happening, but I feel like I should have got the, because uh, I had the cheese and bacon sandwich today. I kind of feel like now I should have got a side of that and just dipped dip my it. cheese and bacon sandwich Hell into yeah. the <laughs> cheese dip. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hell encouraged. Yeah. It is yeah. encouraged. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds delicious. And then the uh, horseradish sauce I did have because I asked for a side of that with my fries. And Excuse me. Wow, it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, did we talk about the mug club? It's a mug club. We yeah, did not. can we uh, elaborate on the mug club? I was, I was doing some cheese? pictures. Uh, <laughs> probably <laughs> depends on how much you pay for it. But uh, there's a nice, uh, I guess, section of the wall right next to the bar. I see it now. It says mug club. Nice. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, so, so the uh, Kettle Top Mug Club actually started in uh, June of 2017. Uh, we started that because um, uh, it was it was kind of my goal in the first place was to have one just the timing was key and so we, we did it in the summer launched it uh because a lot of people had showed interest and so long story short the mug club is 150 dollars uh we started out to do it as a yearly subscription but actually i i just canceled that and said it's lifetime so wow. uh for 150 you you do get a uh, personalized mug uh which which, which kyle has i'm surprised he didn't have it with Heck him right yeah here. hey i just told you him two of them yeah, I, I told her not to worry about the mug tonight just ah. because that's how I need to I need to keep myself paced at some point. <laughs> keep it at the because uh, when when, when, when all your drinks come in a mug, it's like this is his Kyle mug, and then yeah. that one's the Buck Nasty mug. Correct. Yeah, it does say Buck <laughs> on it. So. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the it, nasty it. comes later. <laughs> and and so with with the mug club, of course, there's a lot of perks to it. You get your own personalized mug club T-shirt, uh, mug, of course, uh, as well as a lot of swag, so bottle openers, uh, cups, koozies, things like that. But the the real, um, you know, kind of drive behind it is the fact you get a lot of free beer. And nice. so uh, every time you come in, as a matter of fact, the first time you sign up, you get a free pint uh, of whatever you'd like on the on the current menu. I should damn well hope so for 180 bucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and it, it, aren't there also benefits for cover charges as far as events yeah, and stuff so, go? Yeah, okay. so I, still a good point because that, that's, that's exactly what I get when I, when I talk about it. And it's like, you know, I see... People come in, and, and especially patrons that are, that are locals that come in are regulars, and I'm like, hey, you know, at this point, you could have already saved, you know, several 25, 50, hundreds of dollars, depending on, you know, how frequent you come in. And so every every Tuesday, uh, it's a dollar off every single draft. Uh, every other day is 75 cents off okay. uh, every single draft. Cool. You also, uh, any any uh, cover charges for any event are, are waived for any mug club member. So we have events that cost $10 sometimes, sometimes 5 3 doesn't matter. It's free for you. So nice. you add, you know, 10 of those up throughout the year, and you're already you're halfway paid. So Can you repeat yeah. that? I forgot to hit record. No, you're <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, i got to um, memorize now. And w- what's so cool about that is I've actually had that in mind when, when booking entertainment um, because there has been such a large interest in the mug club that whenever I, I – you know, talk to Dan about, hey, we should bring this band in. Um, they'll draw a lot of people. Maybe we could do a cover charge. Um, we look to all of our mug club members and say, hey, you know, you get a benefit for having your mug club. And not only are you going to enjoy some discounts on your favorite beers, you're going to enjoy some, you know, yeah. cash back on your events. Our comedy showcases awesome. um, have a ten dollar cover. Um, our uh, some of our bands can be anywhere from five to ten to fifteen, depending on you know who it is coming through on tour. We've got some awesome bands coming through on tour uh, already on the schedule. Chris, um, B- Chris Birch and Ben Cannon's band only cost a dollar, though. By the way, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. A- actually, that one's free. <laughs> just, just love you, Birch. Actually. Cannon. Chris has to pay to they play were actually, here. No, they were. You were in here. Uh, ba- uh, Birch and and and, um, and Ben were actually here. They're uh, they're starting a new band. I, guess, I think us. Uh, yeah, Black. Yeah, yeah been talking Black. the past couple yeah. of days, yeah. trying to get him some gigs. So yeah. I, I, oh, have you? I sat in on one of their practices last week when Cannon couldn't make it and sat in and played a little bass. And boy, and it was great when Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sounded awesome. <laughs> that is not my voice. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, dude, th- those guys rock out, and it is a lot of fun. I can't wait to have them in here. They'll be in here uh, March third. Awesome. Is we'll nice, have. Nice. Uh, I I don't know if we'll have the full neon black lineup, but we're at least going to have the Chris Birch trio in here. Cool. And cool. they just nail it. I'm oh, excited. Yeah. Well, Bert, yeah, Birch is the hardest working man around here. You see? Oh, yeah, easily. Is. I try to get him a gig. He's like, I'm working. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, already got gigs. Like, I don't yeah, need any gigs. more gigs. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. All right, cool. A a, tr- a true professional musician in this area for yeah, sure. No, yeah. No, he, he he supports us a lot. Uh, he, you know he you know he even takes his time to show up at our Christmas charity events and stuff. But mm-hmm. no, cri- yeah, yeah Birch and, and Ben. Great guys. Awesome. All right. Beer. Beer. So 
we're back to this one that we still had. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what this one was? Yeah, and so, so this is the cacao, and this is actually from Five Rabbit uh, out of Illinois. Chicago, Cerveceria, Illinois. I believe it was. Correct. Five yeah, Rabbit yeah, Cerveceria. Yes. And, and so this, this, this is, is a, this a, a U.S. Uh, American Double Imperial Stout. That's what it was. And you know, it's got a little zing to it. I personally have grown a lot to the stout taste. At first, mm. when um, you know, I, I really started trying around and seeing what my taste was as far as craft beer goes. I steered away from the stouts just because they were very filling. They were oftentimes very heavy mm-hmm. um, on the coffee side, especially. Um, but you know, my tastes have come around, and this is really one that I enjoy absolutely. I don't taste a, a ton of coffee in this one, though. Yeah, it's kind of light. It's it, maybe a hint on the back end, but not up front. Mm-hmm. It's chocolatey. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised for a yeah, double imperial. You said because I would think it'd be a little thicker. I taste more of a dark chocolate in it too, a little mm. bit more of a bitter type chocolate than just a, a normal chocolate. Chocolate. You, you, you mean cacao? cacao? Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Cacao. Jeez. No, you're right, and, and a lot of times too, depending on, of course, the mulch they use and, and how heavy they go, uh, it, it's going to smooth that out. Uh, yeah. And so, same thing with your porters um, and even stouts, depending on what that is, they'll they'll signify whether it's a milk stout, coffee porter, yeah. etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's kind of where you're. So, are you the brewmaster, or do you have a, a brewmaster working for you? No, so so up. Daniel uh, uh, Stahuviak, he okay. actually is, is the brewmaster, okay. and so I, I work with him and uh, my brother as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely credit to him for 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 all of our current beer we have, cool. and uh, and really kind of joining. Well, at least you got good knowledge me. of it, though. At least. Yeah, yeah. You've, got, you've got good knowledge. It helps, of it. right? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Like, love beer. That's a little bit of a difference. <laughs> this beer is good. <laughs> Dark beer. Dark beer, good. Hey, I feel like Kyle's making fun of us, like our first <laughs> couple shows that the Blind Pigs did. Oh yeah. We first started doing craft beer. Pretty much was wasn't I mean, it that I, way. Honestly, ha- have you guys had anyone that you know is representing a brewery or or a brewmaster just not really know what they're talking about? You don't have to name names. Obviously. No, not really. Like everybody is so into their craft that literally, and, and I know we've told the story last. So I'll keep this part short, but. It, it was so intense for us when we started getting invited out to breweries that we literally had to start home brewing and doing stuff so that we could talk on the right level. Sure, like That's we awesome. were humbled. Like yeah. shit, I thought I knew beer, but no, I don't. Yeah. I don't know shit about no. beer. Otherwise, so yeah. otherwise we, had to we learn. sound like dirt beer good. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, you know, I, I literally, I read a lot of books. We started brewing. Uh, we started talking to our friends who were brewers so that we could we could get that knowledge, do tastings. That's awesome. We did a lot of self education to be able to make this show that's, that's uh, informative for our for everybody listening. You know, we didn't want to just say, "Wow, this does not taste like Miller Lite. This yeah. tastes like <laughs> maybe a sweeter version of." Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to sound we didn't want to sound well, stupid. Sure. I you know, so yeah. I still think we've made up some of our own like words that maybe aren't necessarily how you judge a beer. I've never found out if chewy is a proper. <laughs> we do use the word chewy a lot. <laughs> Yeah, because we get that. You get some of the beers that are. They're, need, they're, need that's the only way I can. With. The yeah. only way I can, sub, you know, describe it is it's it's chewy. Yeah. We, yeah. we like yeah, to yeah. say mouthfeel a lot too. Yeah. Mouthfeel is well, one it, of our we, favorites. Well, we love mouthfeel. <laughs> 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 just to be just be honest, be honest too. Everyone started somewhere, you know. So you sure you got to think about you know from that from that point of view that you know it doesn't matter where you're at in your craft beer adventure, even right. uh, spirits. But it's like you know, really appreciate. The ones who have the lingo and the knowledge, great, but it's... I started with Zima. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but... Yeah. And Takiza. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, remember, you remember that one? No. Yeah. For me, tequiza? it was it was uh, Dark Eyes junior year. We did not drink it. I don't think we ever drank beer in high school. Um, no. No. We drank Too expensive liquor. in high school. Oh, well, compared to... No, it was actually people. a lot cheaper if we... What we did drink. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, no. That would have been cheaper. <laughs> no, we usually got several half gallons delivered Southern, to the Carmel Motel. Yes, of Southern Comfort was our... Woo. Man, that yep. was my stuff. That's actually how I got my nickname was Southern Comfort. Nice. Yeah, in fact, some people called me SoCo, and I was like, oh, So they got Buck why. Nasty out of SoCo? Uh, both. They no. got Buck Nasty and SoCo. So if I don't it, know so, what the difference so is. So if, if, Broad- if he's in South Broader, he'll be SoBro. He'll be SoCo SoBro. <laughs> SoCo and SoBro getting buck that's, nasty. That's too, that's too close to SoBro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SoBro. <laughs> SoBro. So, but yeah, like I said, we just we wanted yeah. to be able to talk to brewers and stuff. And, and the first Sound couple shows bit. we did, they were talking way over our heads. You could see it in our faces. We're all like, uh-huh. Yeah. Hops. Mm-hmm. Yep. Great. I know what a hop is. Okay. Yeah, sure. 
so we just yeah we did a lot of self learning to get where we are now but and we don't know everything obviously but we have a lot to still learn too but I think anybody in the craft beer industry is learning all the time because there's, every there's day new hops new. coming out all the time there's new grains yeah, coming out all the time keep, I, I mean it's crazy it. absolutely I can't so. keep up on it well and that's just a testament to you know the blind pigs and why you guys are are constantly you know being asked to come to brewer- breweries is because you guys and even distilleries is because you guys are, you We're put in the to. time to learn what you needed to learn to to you know promote a pr- awesome product. So. Plus, plus we will look stupid so you don't have to. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> hashtag slogan. Yeah. There we, you go. We do often say we drink the bad beer so you don't have to. Yeah. We say that a lot. Oh, okay, very cool. You know, and uh, but in the craft beer scene in Indy, we don't find that often. We found it in other towns that we visited. I'll tell yeah. you, we found some pretty rough craft beers, mm. but in Indy, it's 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 a lot more rare to find a, a bad craft. Yeah. You know, once in a while you get one and it's a bad batch. There was one place we were and we all had this face. And then after mm. the show, the person said, uh, yeah, that was a bad batch. We just tried to cover it up and we just put it out anyway. And we were like, oh, that makes that sense now. It. Yeah, because yep. we were all it's like, not a great idea. We were drinking it. We were all like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this beer? We had that face. You know, we had that face. And I'm like looking around. I'm like, but I'm not going to be mean. So I'm going to say, well, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like some of the stuff from Florida, true yeah. professional. Oh yeah, some yeah, of that yeah, shit yeah. from Florida was some f- from Florida. It was pretty that raw. Was, that was pretty yeah, nasty. Yeah. And then the first time we went to Nashville, Tennessee, we went to uh, I won't say the name of the brewery, but we went to a brewery there, and it was all watery, all of it. Well, and, and t- to defend some of that, and I think they've they picked up some of the laws now. They are their laws are, are ridiculous, l- yeah. ridiculously worse than ours because wow. they limit the the gravity is is way low. You yeah, they couldn't be over five above, point. Like, I think you couldn't even go above five almost. That it was five point some five point eight. Everything had to be below, way below or close to five. Yeah. So you couldn't get you, you couldn't get some of the mouthfeel ones or the th- you know the imperials and all that because they had to have a liquor license. Naturally, they're to do good, it. yeah. You had to oh. you have to you have to it turned into a liquor license. Weird, exactly. They've lifted it since then. Yeah, and our good it, friend down at um, uh, Briar Scratch they changed the ABV rules. Yeah, yeah. they uh, changed the ABV rules to so those guys, and yeah. those guys were making phenomenal stuff back then at Briar Scratch in sure. in Gallatin, Tennessee. They're not in Nashville, uh, but they were making Close phenomenal it. beers then. So I can only yeah. imagine what he's doing now. Yeah, for sure. So, all right. Well, uh, we still got more beer in front of us. We do. Although this isn't a beer, it's are a we going to go with the beer? or Are we going to go with the other one? Uh, I would finish Jordan. with the, I'd finish with the magpie. Okay, I'll finish. finish with the mead. Well, finish give it away. Mead. And he huh. just gave it away. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan. <laughs> so what's this one? So I believe this is the uh, porter called uh, Fox and the Hunted okay. from 18th Street. Uh, 18th oh, okay. Street. This yeah. is uh, Indiana. Uh, I believe uh, Hammond. Mm-hmm. Yep, we've done some. Uh, we've done some work with them. A lot of festivals awesome. with them. Yeah. So it smells fantastic. Just right off it the does. bat. It does, and it's a it's a very very good, very good beer. You get a lot of chocolate in this one. Yeah, a lot of chocolate. It's like a medium-bodied yes, beer. Yes, it is. It's a it's, porter. Uh, yeah, of course it is. Um, it doesn't have the uh, super thick oilness to it like uh, like when you get to the stout level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's as not it quite not. It's not quite as light as a porter either. I feel like it's almost like a, if there was an in-between, it would be that beer. If, it was, if there was an in-between between the, stout would, and porter. That would be called a pout. A pout. <laughs> if there was such a classification <laughs> as a pout, this beer would be it. Or a storter. Or a storter. I don't know. <laughs> Depending on what part of the country you're from, it's a snorter. <laughs> can, I get a, can I get a snorter of a snorter? <laughs> Could I get a little snippet of a pout, please? Mm. But yeah, uh, you feel like you're going to have version. your pinky out on that one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like automatic. <laughs> 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 <Just> yeah. <bing. laughs> that happens to be a lot. John, what do you think? Griswold, John, what do you got? Is it chewy? John, go ahead. I thought it was silky. Oh, like, look at that! Like, yeah. I so silky, silky okay. would be the word I use. You know, not not overpowering, but you know, good flavor, good aftertaste. This get, had more regular chocolate flavor, not the dark chocolate flavor like we had earlier, though. So, I mean, definitely I, taste the chocolate. I get the, jo- the, the the chocolate porter on the the chocolate, uh, not porter, the chocolate um, bitterness <laughs> or maybe maltiness on on the center of the tongue. So, I, yeah, I couldn't get the words out. Sorry. Shut up, Griswold. It had a good flavor to it, and like Pat was saying, you could t- you had to had that taste of the chocolate right on the there. front. Yeah. yeah. Hey, dude, we're a three star. We're a three star Grizz. We, we, invi- <laughs> <laughs> we, we invented a new classification Jeez. of a show at, at, at one of our grand at our Grand Junction show, and we because uh, we got we got Griswold actually talking, so we we gave this, that one a five star. We're gonna start putting stars on him like on a helmet, you know. 
for every just every game like he wins. Buckeyes <laughs> at Ohio State. Son of a bitch. <laughs> just just no, we actually love it. I, I know we make fun of him, but it's it's you gotta you gotta realize Grizz has been around and hanging around for a while, and it's it's great to actually. You know, used to really just kind of sit on the sidelines, and it's it's great having Grizz. You and know. the first time we ever made him speak on the microphone, he looked like this, <laughs> <laughs> like the whole time he's just shaking. <laughs> but no, I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> happy. That day, once I had more alcohol in me, nah. I was fine. You yeah, got, there you, you go. got better. Yeah, but you used yeah. to be so nervous. You'd be like, you could hear it in your voice too. I, uh, the, 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 well, because uh, I kept going. You guys kept calling. <laughs> Sounds me by like my Grizz. Name. Oh yeah. Well, we had to get him. It's like he was waiting for the date rape drug to kick in. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Come on, you're gonna fall any minute now. Come on." I was waiting for Cowboy. Come on, well, Rufy. <laughs> See, he, he, here's the thing: is I've I knew Grizz before oh. I knew him as Grizz. Oh, do you? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in, I used to come over to the Bulldog Corner. All the time, and there was yeah, Grizz who made uh, what the hell made is the Bulldog the Corner? It's a restaurant. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, it's a bear hangout. Yeah, w- when I uh, used to work over in Lapel at the First Merchants Bank over there, um, probably shouldn't name the name the bank, but who cares? I was fired anyway. Um, <laughs> Fucking dicks. <laughs> yeah, just because I you know needed a lunch break. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say just because I needed some lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was waiting for the Buck what's, Nasty story. You know, what's, yeah, exactly. three, what's three grand? I don't know. No. Um, but, uh, but no, we, we always, you know, crack jokes and stuff. And, th- and then I remember the first time that I showed up to do the Blind Pigs with uh, Aaron from the Stampede over yep. there at Alley's right in his backyard and, you know, not far from mine. And uh, I'm like, holy shit. Yep. Look it's at it. Is. Yeah. Well, no, Absolutely. yeah. Like I said, I'm, I, I know we tease you and all that, but it's good to see. I'm... I'm it's fun to have you participating, and I'm I'm happy you do it. Like I've like I've always said, I may never get all the the talk and everything like that down, but I know what I like. You're good. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. That's what's important. Yeah. And he Absolutely. says that shit, but if you travel in the car like to a show with him, motherfucker knows exactly what he's talking oh, about. Yeah. I mean, he just tries to hide Absolutely. it. Oh, yeah. He'll carry on a complete beer conversation, and not skip hey, a beat with I you. Hey, at least I didn't get us lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was only one time, and we had a lot of mead to drink. A lot. And you guys got lost going home in downtown From Indianapolis. Square, yeah, Are you I don't. You me? did too. I don't use GPS. Bitch, because I was following you. <laughs> 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 now actually, we call the blind pig. Because <laughs> I'm not 65, Pat. I don't use GPS everywhere. I just go. <laughs> but after we, we got to see a lot of cool we scenic at. areas. Yeah, we need GPS now. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of that show, <laughs> <laughs> what a segue that was. <laughs> so. Yes, this uh, that was apparently a lot of fun. We actually uh, we did uh, a show with a New Day, Craft, and got experienced with a, a whole lot of different stuff we never actually tried, really thought about. You know, we weren't big mead drinkers or ciders, yeah. and and boy, they'll change your mind on that stuff, won't they? Yeah, Wait, absolutely. To the point where Jordan can't figure out how to get home. Yeah, <laughs> mead is one of those weird beverages, hey, we man. Like it's sneaky as shit. Yeah. It is. It yep. really is. It was like a half hour after we left. I'm like driving, and I'm like Griswold. I'm a little drunk. He's like. Good thing, God, I am too. And I'm like, I was fine when we freaking left. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if we should be saying that on the air, should we? Then we stopped at Hooters. What are they going to do? What are the cops going to do? Come and reverse arrest us? <laughs> they won't. You're good. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't you know. <laughs> yeah. I'd have some experience, dude, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Double jeopardy. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I, I swear this stuff continues to ferment in your belly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has to. Cause and if you eat something? It's worse. It'll go away a little bit. Not then for about a half hour. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I did the same thing that night. I got home. I was feeling fine. Got home. Had something to eat. Went to bed. And then was in drunken, weird wonderland. All Yeah. Spinny wonderland. You know, for <laughs> See, like just the rest of the night. No. It was sneaky. <laughs> the shit's sneaky. I think it's the honey, the sugar and all that. Yep. I swear. I think it still continues to ferment in your sure. belly. There's something about me that it def- I love it, though. Yes. And I had like the most even buzz ever. I was just in happy land. Oh, yeah, I had no hangover at all. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no deal. No, I'll no tell worries. you right now, as soon as I he- taste some mead, I feel medieval as fuck. Like, just seriously. <laughs> it's just like, I, I, I feel like I'm sitting at, you know. <laughs> like he needed mead. To you want to joust? Like <laughs> yeah, like, I, like I'm in King Arthur's court, you know, <laughs> and I have to pull the sword out of Excalibur, except... The sword oh, out yeah, of Excalibur? It, wait a minute. What? Wait, no, you have to pull Excalibur out of the stone. There you Thank go. you for correcting yeah. me. Um. Yeah. So anyway, the mead. All right, the Thor mead kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's yeah, the uh, this is the mag. This is the magpie, which we. Oh yeah, we got to taste breakfast it, yes. magpie. Yes, the breakfast magpie was awesome. And they do the special release on this once a year in the barrel age too. 
And what, a how other did flavors. you describe this earlier? Just over there, you started out with it, and and you had a way of describing it. You said it's like s- chocolate wine. Is that what you no, said? No, it's or? like it's like coffee and blackberries. Yeah, that's what that, it tastes that, like. You said blackberry coffee. That's blackberry what coffee. It was. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Yeah, it does. Meat and it's it's delicious. Meat mm-hmm. tastes good. <laughs> Me, <this guy. laughs> what are you saying? You drink it, you get dumber. As <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, that's I don't think that's a good advertising for them. <laughs> he gets mi- he gets medieval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get medieval, he becomes SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm his buddy. I'm his buddy Patrick. I'm his buddy Patrick. <laughs> uh, SpongeBob. <laughs> and you got to wait in line to get this stuff. Yeah, like on the release hours, days, like yeah. for hours the, in line for like the barrel select. The yeah, cops got to come down and control traffic, man, because people are serious about their meat down there. They were because they were all standing out in the rain. That that one they did, they it was, did it was raining like crazy. I said yeah. I was gonna go get it, and then I was like, Nah, it's raining. Yeah. So do you guys <laughs> regularly keep um, a new day on, or is this just kind of like a you happen to have it right now? No. So uh, the last two years, obviously, I've only been in business just over a year, but. Um, it didn't make any sense. Anyways, <laughs> the last two <laughs> years, I've only been in business. 2016, we, we had technically had opened, and so right. I had it in 2016 cool. uh, and tried to get it in uh, 17, but ended up getting it in 2018. So we just gotcha. got this recently. Uh, but no, t- to your point, that's kind of the, the whole philosophy that I, that my wife and I started in, in, the, in the beginning was that her and I would always go to, uh, to Indy, to, to Fishers, Carmel, Noblesville, a- anywhere, because we didn't have a great selection of craft beer. Uh, in, Anis- in Anderson, and no. nothing against Muncie. I love Muncie. Uh, traveled there quite a bit, and, and great breweries there. Uh, but it's still but, limited too. But there again, it's limited, and not only that, but but you, you, you there's like I can't. I want a combo of things to do. Sure. I want to do this, that together. Then I head home. So it's so a long story short. To get back to that was that we wanted to put uh, beers, meads, ciders, things on that you couldn't find at every single grocery yep. store, mm-hmm. every every Kroger, every Payless, every Walmart. So it was it was really our goal was to say. You know the reason why you may come in upset because you're not finding what you what you found at Ruby Tuesdays. Nothing against them; they're awesome as well. But we want to make something and share it's different sure. and sure. it's unique. And and if we didn't do that, I don't feel that we would get the respect and the um, no, you know the the patrons coming back and uh, e- right. each week for 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 looking forward to that new beer that's on. Yeah. So and when we're, you're one of the uh, few craft beer bars in town, correct? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. So people if they're coming here to get craft beer they they probably want a good rotating schedule right yes where you don't keep the same four crafts on where you rotate through them you know when it runs out you get something different and that way they can oh let's go to kettle top tonight let's see what kind of craft they got tonight is that kind of what you're exactly. going for with that exactly yeah, perfect and, and a lot of times too we, we definitely we, we definitely love our indiana breweries and try to support them the best we can we usually have uh, at least four on uh, from indiana uh, on tap at all times and then there's some of course michigan and try to really stay Midwest, but if I get some things that come across, um, we had just to kind of give a shout out to, to Stone because I love Stone Brewery in California. Mm-hmm. They had a Merc Machine that came across the, the radar, and I picked that up. And there mm-hmm. again, very excellent uh, beer that not a lot of people will see around here that they may sure. not even get a chance to try it. And so that's why I kind of really depend on a lot of my reps too to help out with that. And mm-hmm. so uh, we really try to keep that rotating delicious menu uh to keep them coming back for more and yeah, you still have some in bottles and cans too up there i saw some eric the blood axe up there yes um i forget what else uh, i saw some I other stuff beer. yeah oh it's the best there's some other stuff One up the there best, so definitely for sure um yeah if you ever want to you know dorian's still my favorite have us tell you any of the places we've been that have some particular brews that are phenomenal we're more than happy to tell you I have, and I we have, have great connections most of them even if they self-distribute race. we know how to get a hold of yeah, mug club yeah. and moontown yeah yeah, you gotta get yourself some Moontown. Moontown yeah. from Whitestown. Moon Talk Town. to the Maddenley yeah. family. Mm. Awesome. Yes. Good cool. shit. Yep. Four or day, talk, or four talk, day raise or coffee blonde. Ooh, too. Or four talk to rate. the guys over at Monon. Monon, Monon Beverage. Yeah. Yeah. True. Monon Beverage. Did you talk to you talk to Sean? Yeah, so okay. I, just, I got an email about two weeks ago. Uh, so uh, good guy. I'll be looking forward to getting with him. And yep, oh, yeah. Sean's a good guy. In, Friend so. of the show. Yep. Awesome. awesome. Absolutely. So. Yeah, we uh, we get to do this travel to different breweries, and we we get to meet a lot of people. So we we know a lot of the people in the brewery industry. Yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of fun though. So um, we're getting close to the end, but mm-hmm. I wanted to give you guys or at least a, a chance. Remember this: when they hear this, it'll be a couple of weeks. So think out, but your regular stuff. You know, if you want to hit up, you said the comedy stuff, but you know, close it out with uh, some of the regular things you got you got going on uh, and and things coming up, and and uh, we'll let you guys take over. Okay. Um, well. Dan, I'll, I'll go ahead and let you grab the last word. But before that, um, just <laughs> s- s- but before <laughs> you that speak, out, before you speak, <laughs> before you take the last word, I'm going to do the last yeah. 40. You hold your tongue. <laughs> yeah. Um, just uh, so since this is coming out a, um, a couple weeks from now, um, 
we have uh, our stand-up comedy showcase. We do that the third Friday of every month. Um, we also do our stand-up comedy uh, open mic the second Wednesday of every month, which is open, sign up, show up, go up. So, um, you know, if you can't make it, let us know. Um, but, you know, we, we'd love to have anyone who's interested in trying comedy. We always have a feature, um, someone to come in from Indianapolis. Indianapolis is thick with a lot of really funny people. And uh, they'll come out and do 15 None minutes. Of close show. <laughs> <laughs> and, Did you uh, just say Indianapolis is full of a lot of thick, funny people? Thick. Is thick with funny people. Okay. No. Yeah. But I, I was like, yeah. what? I'm, I'm like, kind of thick and funny. <laughs> I was like, I saw this thing. I was like, see you tomorrow. I was like, you saying skinny guys can't <laughs> be funny, man? What the <laughs> hell? Not funny. Ha ha. Funny queer. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> No, um, but our March lineup, um, we've got Chris Birch Trio on March 3rd. We've got Wonky Tonk on March 9th. Von Strauss coming through on tour on March 10th. Um, we've got a St. Patrick's Day weekend cool. uh, planned, so stick around for that. We've got our showcase in March. We've got State of Mind on March 24th, Jesse Phelps March 30th, and Brother O' Brother nice. on March 31st. Sweet. So we've got some uh, killer stuff coming up, and uh, come on out. Um, a lot of our stuff is free, and anything that has a cover will not be unreasonable, and it will be completely worth it. So uh, keep up on the uh, Facebook page, Kettletop Brew House, Instagram at Kettletop Brew House, um, and the website will be launched very, very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Thickandfunny.com. <laughs> we d- <laughs> we didn't Actually, that's not the website you think it is, to be honest with you. <laughs> I tried. And I'm very uh, impressed. We're going to have to go with .net on that one because .com's taken. <laughs> Usually we have to like pull the social media whoring out of people. They don't normally just do it, so I'm so happy you just went with it. That's what oh, we, yeah. No, you, you we didn't have to pull it out of you. I, Whoa, I, what? I, do Whoa. It, I do it for the pleasure, Dude. not the money. Really? <laughs> well, doesn't everybody do really? it for the pleasure? Buck 50, downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Corner of Meridian and Twelfth, <laughs> <laughs> and he's speechless. Oh, holy cow! Actually, it's Fourteenth and Meridian, but who's counting? Uh, he works two blocks. He's okay. <laughs> they're, they're two blocks away. That way, you can get a visual before they get to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. I do charge I was, by I was, the pounds. So. I was looking. I was looking out for you, man. Yeah, appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. All right. So, what else you want to tell us? Anything else you want to tell us about the place? Anything? What do you want to close with? Uh, just simply a huge thanks to you guys. Really, uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it's been a, a great experience. Um, uh, same thing with, uh, with with the the goal and mission you guys have in mind. It's it's awesome. It's great to see you guys come out, support uh, Indiana breweries, uh, t- tap houses, brew houses, things like that, and just get the 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 craft chatters like I like to call it um, going. And so I really appreciate you guys coming. I hope you enjoyed the food, the beer. Yeah, absolutely, um, thank you. And then uh, of course, you know, huge shout out to uh, to Daniel. Uh, Stahoviak, uh, our, our master brewer, my brother David Hiles, my wife Callie Hiles, and, and really uh, also with Kyle Buck here. As you can see, he's got a full calendar here, and that's really yep. something that uh, that I really tried to, to utilize from the both of us was that you know, I, I got a guy here that, that really, you know, his strong suits, I want to utilize them, and that's the same with what we want to do with everybody here. And, mm-hmm. uh, and so awesome lineup, great events always happening uh, every week, and um, so feel free to uh, come by any time for some, some free beer. Um, and we, we'd love to have you back again. So. All right. Sounds Sweet. good. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Thanks, right. man. All right, guys. And well, one more thing before we go. Oh, June God. 2nd, Anderson on Tap Brewfest yes. oh, yes. is right. happening right here in our backyard. Oh, yeah. Excellent. So, so keep an eye out for that. Coming June 2nd, we're going to have a killer lineup. We're going to have some awesome bands. Oh, yeah. Um, and we're going to have some delicious beer. So keep that on your calendar. Keep it marked. Be here. Beauty. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks. All, All right, right, guys. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Thanks, cheers. guys. Good night, Pedro. Thank you. <laughs> There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. My baby goes that night and stays till the morning comes.